Well, there's the sun right there, and uh, it's getting later in the year, so the sun is beginning to move off, and um, so I'm getting less sunlight. But my panels are still rocking with a pretty good amount of sunlight per day. I just wanted to go over real quick. You can see here that I've got a draw on the system. I actually have this box fan plugged in, even though it's been getting colder. It's actually, you know, in the 70s today. And uh, I've got this box fan, plus I have my computer monitor and speakers uh, plugged into the inverter. So it's got a uh, a draw of 150 watts, 160 watts, somewhere around there. The battery voltage is uh, approximately 13 volts and it looks like I've got about 9 amps DC going into the system. So I wanted to go over real quick battery limitations. I've seen people on YouTube do this where they'll take a small cheap deep cycle battery and they'll plug just a massive amount of stuff into it and think well as long as the capacity is there then it'll continuously run the uh, the items and uh, you know that's all well and good in theory however batteries have a maximum charge and discharge rate and um, my particular battery this VMAX tanks 125 amp hour battery has a maximum charge or discharge rate of 30 amps for one hour which means I could safely discharge 30 amps out of this battery over the course of one hour and not have to worry about damage from heat or I could safely charge 30 amps into this battery over the course of one hour without having to worry about heat damage. Now this particular battery I can actually charge and discharge at the rate of 15.8 amps per hour which means I could do that for 24 hours if I wanted to depending on the capacity but basically I could do it all day long at approximately 16 amps and not have to worry about any damage to the battery. So when you have a single battery like I do uh, you're very much limited into what you can actually draw out of it you know over the course of time so I actually rarely go over about 350 to 400 watts draw on this battery simply because that'll be too much draw on a single battery now it can take surge draws you know I'm pretty comfortable in and uh, you know taking this inverter to its max of 1000 watts on very few occasions for a couple seconds at most just for testing but um, for the most part um, I stay under the 400 watts and I usually stay in the uh, 2 to 300 watt range for this inverter. Now when I add a battery or three batteries which is my plan I can actually quadruple that draw capacity so that 300 watts would turn into a possible 1200 watts constant draw. So hopefully that answers some questions because I made a comment about that I said I would do a follow-up video on uh, draw capacity. Um, you need good thick wire running from the inverter to the batteries and if you're running multiple batteries then you need to make sure you have good thick wire running in between each battery. The small wire will heat up really fast and it could actually destroy the wire and it could fault your um, your inverter or your battery. So. Hopefully that answers some questions. Keep things in mind because I know I had somebody ask me why I don't draw a thousand watts out of this thing because of its capacity. Well, simply because uh, the battery will overheat and it'll cause damage. And every manufacturer has its own recommended charge and discharge rates as well as flash charge and flash discharge rates. In my case, 30 amps maximum for one hour or approximately 16 amps per hour constant. So hopefully uh, that will... Uh, help you understand exactly what I'm talking about.